Hi everyone, welcome to Creative Stampin' Designs. My name is Karen, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Central New Jersey, and we are going to make a card today. How's everyone doing? If you hop on, if you're watching, say hi, let me know where you're watching from. Um, I will go back to read um, any comments? Because unfortunately today I really can't see. I had to go to the eye doctor, so I have a lot of the my card for today prepared ahead of time because I I knew I had an appointment and I wasn't going to be able to see very well. All right, I am using a combination of cheerful basket and hi Jillian, thanks for joining and the Apple Harvest um, stamp sets. <clears throat> Before I get started, I just want to remind everybody about the, I know you can't see this, and I hate to say that I can't see it either, um, the Stampin' Up! Back to School tax holiday information. If you live in New Jersey, hi Donna, hi Amy, thanks for joining, they added New Jersey to the list. And I think this is the first time ever we got added to something. Um, New Jersey isn't until I believe it's the end of August. But there's quite a few that are going on right now. The, um, there's a link on my... Um, hi, Debbie. Thanks for joining. There's a link on my blog that you can open up a PDF and print it out or look to see. Um, if your state is on it, and when you go. Also, Stampin' Up! has added some more items to their celebration list. The uh, Got a couple things that are no longer available. The pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes are no longer available. And the tree lot dies are not available. I know, I know for um, a little bit that where the DSP wasn't available, but that that came back. And if there's anything else, I don't can't remember off the top of my head. Okay, but they've added um, the timber embossing folder, the gingham embossing folder, which I am using today, the seashells embossing folder. Uh, the brush metallic and the silver foil paper, um, the dots and spots dies, daffodil dies, and the aspen tree dies, along with the um, flowers of home dies. So that those are all pretty good items. And then they have the craft gift boxes. <clears throat> also, right now, the Cozy and Bright kit is available. I believe it's still available. Last time I looked, it was. Um, it's actually, it's a nice kit. It's Christmas cards. So, and the last thing was, um, next, start in September 1st, Stampin' Up! has some dies that are not, they're going to be available for, um, one month, September 1st to September 30th. The Apple Blossom dies, which go with the Apple Harvest set. And of course, mine didn't get here yet. So I had to fussy cut um, the fresh cut flower or fresh cut stems dies, which um, goes with the, <clears throat> excuse me, the fresh cut flower stamp set. And then there's the, the pig, um, what is it, the, this little piggy or this birthday pig, piggy birth, um, stamp set. There's dies to go with that and the tree trimming. Trimming the tree set has tree trimming dies. And again, I just bought that set. If I held off, I could have saved the 10%. Um, waterfall dies. We have the waterfall set, but we didn't have the dies. Now we have the dies to go with it. And the Yeti. Um, Yeti to party set. We have Yeti dies. All right, so that's all the things going on right now. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> I'm going to start with the outside of the card. I have thick basic white 
It's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Hi, Penny. Hi, Barbara. Thank you for joining. <clears throat> I don't know if anybody else hopped on. Um, like I said, I can't, I cannot see my computer at all today. So I'm going by whatever's on the phone, and those comments scroll up fast. Okay, so I just, just your basic book fold card, and then, like I said, I did a lot of the prep ahead of time. This is a panel of the uh, perfectly. Perfectly penciled um, DSP, and I colored in the leaves with my Granny Apple Green, and just like the flower centers with the light flirty flamingo. And I'm just going to adhere this to, and I'm using liquid glue. I'm going to here, adhere this to a panel of real red. I'm going to go sideways. And then I'm just going to adhere this to the card front. Again, I'm using liquid glue. I just, especially when I'm live, when I'm not live, I use the stamp, um, stamp and seal. But when I'm live, I have to use the liquid glue because... I need that wiggle room. I don't know if it's the pressure being live. Okay. All right. Then, like I said, I did a lot of prep ahead of time. This is, where is it? I got the wrong one. The detailed tags dies. And I used. this die and then I just cut the bottom and then I embossed it I don't know if you could see it can't get the light right I embossed them embossed it with the gingham um, embossing folder all the measurements everything will be on my blog on Friday creative stamp designs.com all right so I do have to put some of it together I just pre-stamped, pre-cut, and pre-colored because the coloring was not going to happen. So I did cut out the little basket and I guess I wasn't thinking beforehand about the, I need my tweezers for this. Um, just going to adhere these right to the basket. I'm just going to use a little bit of glue, liquid glue. Just putting it right along the bottom, right where this is going to go. That's why I use liquid glue, so I can move it around a little easier. And sorry I had such short notice last week that I had to cancel, but we got a call that we were able to go look at a puppy. So... And we had to leave at 4.30 to get there. Um, unfortunately, we got there and I asked for a female puppy and it was a male. So it was cute, but I didn't take it. But I did go Monday. They called. I got a call and I did get a little. Actually, she she's right at my feet. She just follows me wherever I'm going and now we got her on Monday we brought her home Monday uh, Tuesday was the first day I came down to my card table and she came down here and she was just laying here with me today I came down the stairs she ran ahead of me and ran right to the table and laid down underneath so this is a cute bundle, Jillian. Okay, now I have the apples done that I'm just going to adhere them. 
but I didn't want it. I didn't want it to be white. I didn't want it to be an empty basket. So what I did is I cut the the solid basket and then I placed this on top and I trimmed around so that it'll look like it's full of apples kind of and then I just randomly glued some leaves on just so it has the effect that it's filled with apples and I just I didn't want it to be a real empty um, empty basket <laughs> all right I'm gonna put actually I'm gonna use some liquid glue I think Just going to put it right like that. Oops. I think we're going to put it like that. There we go. And then I'm going to put dimensionals on this for the basket, and then the whole. I'll glue the whole thing down. I already put dimensionals up here because I wanted, I was only holding um, the leaves in place. I pre-cut those in granny apple green and I actually brushed the edges. I used my sponge dauber just to give them a little color and I just used some uh, stamp and seal on the back but then I wanted to make sure they held so I stuck some dimensionals back there ready. <clears throat> What's my puppy's name? Her name is Coraline. And so far, I mean, she's 10 weeks old. I have, she is housebroken already. I have already gotten her, for the most part, trained that she really lets me know when she wants to go out. Which I was shocked. I thought for sure you know, it was going to be a while, but... She's doing good. She sits on command. She's just this little tiny thing. She's only six pounds so right now. So she's this little itty bitty thing and I'm not used to a dog that small. I'm used to my 50 pound dog. Okay. So there, it just kind of has the color behind. If I was using a red tag, it would have been okay. But so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little liquid glue on the bottom and then the top will be with the dimensionals. So. <clears throat> and I couldn't say anything to anyone or post anything because I needed, I wanted, my, we got her while my daughter was not home. So it was kind of a little surprise when she came home to see the puppy. All right. I'm going to put this right on the tag. Okay. All right. And then I have so oh, I have the little um napkin, little towel or whatever. To, that goes inside. We're just going to put that. So I have all the pieces. I just didn't put any. I figured I could put this to get this part together. I'd be able to see well enough to do this. Okay, and then we have the little, got all the little pieces here. The little um, handle. This is going to be a little, I didn't think to use a, uh, what's it called? Adhesive sheet. That would have made this part easy. Okay. I'm just going to put that right best I can. I'm trouble seeing if I'm even or not. <laughs> And I do have, this is a piece of the uh, real red ribbon.
from the Real Red and Garden Green, uh, what is it, 3 8 inch, the ribbon combo pack that's in the mini catalog right now. And we're just going to, I think I'm going this way with it. I'm just going to put it through. If I put it the wrong way, I'll redo it, but I think. And I'll trim that once I put it on. <clears throat> All right, then I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals too. So needless to say, this card will definitely take extra postage. I have found sometimes even if the card isn't real heavy, it takes extra postage if with the embellishments or whatever. I just got in the habit most of the time I put the extra postage on because I know it's going to take it. it up just a little bit. Actually, I'm going to put it right over here so the kitty can sit. And I'm going to put the little kitten right on the side of it. I make sure I put the dimensionals on the right side of the cat, though. Oops. And I'm just going to put a... Where's my glue dots? I'm going to put the glue dots now on... Whoops. Jeez, stick it to everything. I guess it'll help if I take these off. And we're going to put the kitty like that. And then I also oh, am dropping them all over. I pre cut some apples to put on the bottom. And the butterfly. So the butterfly we're just going to put right up like that. And we're going to use glue dots on a couple of the apples. And then I have dimensionals on the others. Was all the apples I have. Okay, put the sentiment up and we'll be done with the front. And the inside is where everything's going to be happening. supposed to. Wait, wait. So that's the front. So we're done with dimensionals because the inside cannot have any dimensionals. Okay, so for the inside, again, I did um, a lot of the prep work ahead of time. with the coloring and did all that ahead. So I have a panel of real red that is five and five eighths by five and a quarter. And this one I believe is five and three eighths. No, five and an eighth 
by five and a quarter. Okay, so we are going to, this one here is scored at one inch and two inches. We're going to fold it, make sure I get this the right way. Like an accordion. Okay, and then we are going to fold, make sure my fold goes the right way. Fold that piece like that. Did I do it right? I believe I did. Now we're going to put liquid glue. I need to get this, make sure this has a good. Put liquid glue on here. Oh, that was not supposed to. That's okay though. All right, so this is going to get glued to the fold, right like this. In the camera, I hope so that gets glued like that. Okay. Then I got glue on the inside. Hang on, I don't want this to stick together. Actually, before I glue this down, I'm going to make this a little easier for me. I have another panel of the perfectly penciled, perfectly penciled DSP? Yeah, perfectly penciled DSP that I already colored again. And I'm going to glue this in here ahead of time. Only because it's easier to glue while it's before I glue it inside the card. Then I have this panel here of white that I had stamped the apples from the Apple Harvest set and colored them with real red and uh, granny apple green. And again, I'm just going to adhere this to this panel. For my fingers. Okay, and then I have the other piece, but I'll do the other piece in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. Oh, I thought the lid was on it. I'm going to add liquid glue here. And we're going to put it right on the. Not, not right on the edge, so that there's a border. Just like that. And then I'm going to add liquid glue on this side. I needed to make sure I had it the right way. Sorry. <clears throat> and I'm going to fold that over and give it a little bit of a press. I'm actually going to. little pop-up on the inside and we're going to take this piece and we're going to use a little liquid glue again we're going to do this is going to go just actually like oh, I think it was right there I'm trying to you want to make sure it's not going to stick out so you can I can bring it over a little bit so right about halfway Oops. Just, and again, I'm just using the liquid glue because it's easier. Okay, this, I don't want glue here because that piece isn't going to be attached. And I'm going to adhere it right about there. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to do the, the other, the little liner, and we'll be done. Or not the, yeah, the inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're going to hope I stamp straight. That's That was my only other concern, because I am stamping a little bit. So we're going to 
hold our breath, luckily, if I don't get it straight. We have two sides. I think that's pretty straight. And then this doesn't really matter if it's straight or not. Give that a second to dry, and while that's drying, I'm going to adhere the panel to the envelope. I just I want to make sure the black it, the um, black is dry, so I'm, I am going to color the flowers a little bit. Okay, get this little trim. Don't forget, this is the last month of celebration. Um, last, and last month, you can get your free stuff. So if there's anything that you've been wanting, I mean, there's the new stuff, or, but if there's any of the old stuff, it's selling. It's going. Okay. I think that's good. I can color that. And I'm just going to color the flowers a little bit like I did on the other, but I'm, only, I'm just going to do just the little bit on the insides. I'm not going to go all the way out. So it's no fancy coloring at all. I just didn't want to do the paper live because that was an awful lot of color. Plus, like I said, I'm a little bit on the blind side today. If anybody's been to the eye doctor, you know what I'm talking about. We left there. The first thing they said to me is, you have sunglasses? What I'm actually going to do here, because this is coming out a little bit darker than I wanted it to, so I'm going to use my color lifter and just lighten up the color just a little bit. I did not use this on the paper. The paper just came out nice and light. So it will lighten up a little bit as it dries. But I actually went online. I wanted to see what color the flowers were on apple trees. And they were mostly white with a little bit of pink in the center. All right, I'm going to adhere this maybe to the center or to the left side. Now, if you make this card, on it'll everything will be on my <clears throat> measurements. <clears throat> excuse me. Everything will be on my blog on Friday, creativestampanddesigns.com, and there will be a link. Oops, let me get this down. A link to the video, so all the measurements will be there, so you can make the card. Um, and watch at the same time. Um, if you do make it, it will also be live on my Facebook page on Friday morning. It goes live at um, 8 o'clock. In the comments below the card, add your card because I'd love to see how you make it. That's it. Here's the card. I did do the front of the envelope too in the back. It's a little pop-up card. It's got a little something different. I haven't done one. I don't think I don't think I've done one like this. So I hope you like it and you'll give it a try. All right. If anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out to me, creative stamp and designs at gmail.com. And I'd be happy to help you out. Any measurements or any questions of what I did. <clears throat> um, if you don't have a demonstrator, I'd be more than Happy to help you out. Um, and don't forget to check to see if you are in one of the states that is tax-free and check the dates. The tax-free is for 
mostly like school supplies, the markers, the um, blends, stamp and seal, adhe all the adhesives, things that you would use in school. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And I hope to see you next Wednesday. Thank you very much, Barbara. I appreciate it. I will be posting a picture of her. I just didn't do it yet. <laughs> I figured I wanted, I figured I'd tell every, whoever watches me on Facebook first since that's where I went last week, even though this is not the one I went for. All right. Thanks, everyone. I hope to see you next week. Have a good week. Bye-bye.